Hello guys, I wanted to use OpenPLC with something other than a traffic light and I programmed my cocktail maker to work with OpenPLC. So here's the demo of the result. The last time we worked on the cocktail maker, we covered how to change the Arduino Uno driver software to work with 8 outputs and connect to the HMI software Fuxa. If you missed that video, there is a link in the top right corner. In this video, we will dive deeper into how the code works and I will also cover some problems I had and how I solved them. One way of programming a solution is to make sequential function chart for each cocktail. This would be labor intensive and a waste of memory on the PLC controller. A better solution is to make one SFC in a function block and have the time for each liquid as an input variable for the function block. So this is what I did. In this SFC, you can see that each pump will run at a specific time depending on the input parameters. For example, I forced the button to make a vodka sprite to show you how this works. You can see that in each step a pump is active. If the time is set to zero, the action will be skipped. At the end of the cycle, I will reset the order. The function block is run in the main program. To start an order, I made variables linked with the FUXA HMI buttons. This will set a variable high to make the drink. At the end of the mixing sequence, the reset order variable will reset the order and the new order can be made. The time variables for each liquid are set to a specific time depending on what button is pressed in the HMI. To achieve this I made a function block that will set the time to predefined values depending on which cocktail will be made. I wanted the time as an integer in millisecond to make it possible to change it in the HMI. I tested the program with this one function block and it worked. So then. I used this function block to set the time for each cocktail. Here I made a mistake, because I write the time variables multiple times. The last value will always overwrite the previous values. This is a classic mistake and I need to solve this. I did this by connecting all the time variables as inputs for the function block. Only if the input variable I set perimeter is high, the value will be overwritten by the function block. If the I set perimeter value is false, the function block will not overwrite the times and it will just pass it on to the next function block. So when I press the button in the HMI, an order will be set. This variable will activate a function block that will that will overwrite the time values for that specific cocktail. The button will also set a variable make drink high. The sequence will start and will activate each pump with the predefined time to make the cocktail. At the end of the mix sequence, the order will be reset and the machine will be ready for the next order. It would be cool to run the code directly on the Arduino but when I experimented with this, I discovered that the 2 kilobytes of RAM is way too small to even run a fraction of the program. This issue can be solved using another controller like an Arduino Mega or an ESP8266 or an ESP32. I want to give a big thanks to Thiago Alves for all his work on the OpenPLC project. And if you are interested in the OpenPLC project, I would suggest checking out the new YouTube channel of the OpenPLC project in the description below.